Hello and welcome to a new episode. I say and welcome now, like I didn't say that before. Is that a good addition? I do not know. But let's go into fun world. I wonder if I'm talking a little bit quieter than usual because I'm so tired. And um, also because it's late. I feel like when it's late I always get a bit quieter. I think that's probably pretty normal. But maybe I'm a little bit more... Oh, it's dark already. That happened so fast. So fast. Um, yeah, when when it's dark, I think I'm a bit quieter than most people. Or like I'm a little bit more... Um, affected. By, by loud sounds. I'm trying to always... I want it very quiet. I'm like, oh no... Uh, Maybe also, oh, neighbors can hear things and stuff. I don't know, get a bit paranoid. Ooh, like more, more, more so than other people, I would say. Alright, alright. Der Mond ist aufgegangen. I don't remember how this goes, but it's a German um, song about the moon having risen. The moon has arisen. Something like that. <laughs> oh, terrible. But yeah, I, I sang in the last one, so I'm singing this one now. It's a, it's a, it's a singing. It's a singing, um, YouTube as well now. So where, where are we? It's nice to be out. No, no night terrors. Just go. Oh, is the Enderman bad at me? Are they coming for me? Do they see me already? Yep, they. Mm, mm, this one's guy's. No, okay, okay, it's not heading for me. It's all right. Just the light alone is giving me a lot, granting me a lot of protection. Very nice. Um, it's good to feel safe, right? So, what do I want to do? Are there any projects I could work on? My head's a bit tired, so... I have nothing specific to... I want to work on, I think. Maybe I'll just do a bit of mining. And I tell you about... Um, so... <laughs> what, if, what if we do another My Boom Corner? Um, I can't do the jingle. Well, the jingle was at the end anyway, so I'll tr maybe I'll try a different jingle or something that comes to my mind. Maybe it'll be exactly the same thing. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. No, this is that this is a, a singing YouTube uh, series. <laughs> um, we we can definitely have that. But yeah, so what? This, oh, you you don't know what I'm thinking about. That's crazy. Okay, so it's another my boom corner, except that it's not. A boom I'm into right now. Uh, let's first recall my boom means that something you're into, not really into personally at the moment. And so it it was a my boom a couple of weeks ago. And that is, oh this looks so cool. Look at my mining. I'm a miner. Nice. Yeah, let's do more of this. This was fun. Um. So yeah, my few weeks ago, Boom, is this game called The Return of the Obra Din. Obra Din. Obra Din. I don't actually, actually know how it's pronounced, but something like this. And what that is, it's a video game by this um, game creator called Lucas Pope. He did um, a very famous game called Papers, Please. It's an indie game too, but where you play like this immigration agent. And you, you have to like decide if, if someone's trying to um, to beat going into into your country. Uh, yeah, it's it's just very artistic, very good, like politically interesting too. Um, it's kind of an interesting dilemma um, that you as the player face. It's, it's it's a good game, and it's well new game. I don't know. It's also a couple of years old now. Uh, the Return of the Operating is a really good game. I'm, I'm like, I really loved it. And 
what it's about it's i guess let's first like kind of say what the setup is it's you're playing this um so it's eight it's like the 19th century i'm gonna say i don't know i think i think i wrote it down somewhere let me see yeah 18 or 7 that's what it says Ooh, the music it's nice so we'll listen to the music together for a few moments I mean, I don't know if you can hear it as well as me. So, that might just have been nice for me and not for you. But yeah, so you're playing this um, insurance, what is it? Insurance inspector after a ghost ship the Oprah Din has returned from. Oh. oh okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's all right. Can I get back up there? I just, I guess I'm just gonna explore for. Oh wow! What is that? Did we get that iron? Oh no! I almost, almost destroyed another flower, which I don't really want to do. Is it very pretty? Oh, that's that was what I wanted to do too. Um, if you uh, remind me next time, I wanted to hang those golden berry flowers and see if they can illuminate my grand hall and if that looks good. Whether that looks good, we'll see. There's a lot of them here. Stone sword. I feel like there's potentially danger. Could be. Oh, this looks dangerous for sure. There was like a mouse sound. Ooh. So pretty though, isn't it? Looks so nice. Let me, I guess I'll just, oh, it's, it's most probably that bat, right? But bats are friends. What is this? Oh, I don't have any. Mm, is there something I can get rid of? Some nonsense I don't need. This here, grammar. Cobbled deep slate. I mean, I guess that means that someone must have been here, right? Like in theory, that it was cobbled. Hmm. Should be. Uh, should I go further? But yeah, so you, you play this inspector and this ghost ship has returned and your um, job is it to find out, well, how, why, why all the people disappeared. Most of them um, have died. Um, you, you find that out pretty quickly, but there's also like, you know, you, 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 you don't know exactly a lot of the whereabouts of them. Um, it really depends on, ah, okay, maybe, uh, maybe I go back, look more at it in a little bit. These things glow in sack. I think these are useful. Yeah, I, I, I'll go back for now. But yeah, so, um, the way it works, it's kind of, it's, it's this logic puzzle, you know, like, you know, more and more information and you kind of have to figure out, well, it has to be this and this, if, if this and this is the case. And, um, basically, let me see. Oh, I didn't even say that, but it, um, it doesn't really matter. But like you, you work for the East India company, That's kind of like a cool cool part i guess the his historic <laughs> historic part um not not the christ his history but it doesn't factor in that much um it, actually maybe a little bit if you think about it well i don't want to spoil the plot i don't think i just wanted to kind of talk 
am I gonna find back out? I mean, you can always just um, dig up, right? But I do feel like I'm a little bit lost at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe to start off, like one of the really cool things about this uh, game is that it is in a one one bit graphic. Oh, maybe a danger, right? Hmm. Um, so basically, that's just uh, black and white. Although it's not necessarily black and white, it's more like um, monochromatic. Um, so there's like different colors. It kind of evokes like different screens of old um, computers. Oh, yeah, I definitely lost my way, didn't I? <laughs> Should I just... Should I just dig up for fun? See wherever I come out? I think that might be... I think that might be cool. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, so the, the graphics are amazing, but what's possibly even more amazing, if you can imagine such a thing, It's the soundtrack. The soundtrack is just amazing in that in that game. It's I don't know. It's, it's hard to even explain like how good it is. It just yeah, it it really draws you in almost immediately, and it's it's really beautiful. A really beautiful soundtrack. I'm not, I'm clearly not a much of a wordsmith, but. You gotta believe me. Gotta believe me. It's amazing. Really like engaging. It really, yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to describe these kind of things, right? But yeah, you get me. You get me. We're on the same wavelengths. Oh no. <laughs> Let me see. Do I need a forge? No, but I could put like some nonsense in there. Okay, I've won too little, so I can't actually. All right, never mind. Let me see. Can I make some? Some wooden blocky blocks. Should be able to, right? Why does it not? Why does it say I can't do it? It's kind of weird. We're just blind. Maybe it doesn't code work there. I don't know. Okay, and now I should be able to make a chest and then get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, really everything about the game is great, but the visuals, the, the soundtrack uh, are amazing. And then the gameplay was also just unbelievably nice. Um, I never played anything like it, to be honest. Um, I mean, maybe people who play more games have. For me, it was like a completely new experience, really. You So the way it works is that you have this book, this ledger, where like every everyone who was on the ship's name is uh, written in. And then It's okay. I mean, if it's lava, it's probably a bit bad, but you know. Um. Uh, and yeah, you you kind of basically have to just fill out who. Oh, and you have like photos, and you you're supposed to fill out who is who. Um, how did they die, or what happened to them on the ship? And the way that it works is you have this kind of like supernatural tool called, it's not called Memento Mori, which is what I get usually 
here it's a memento mortem which is um remember death i guess not remember that you must die but remember death um in latin i think well latin's obviously not very good anymore it never was Um, right, need some torches, torches, very good. And I didn't get rid of any of that stuff. Hmm. Clay ball. My egg for the, for the cake. Yeah, and basically what it is, it's, it's like this watch and what, what it can tell you is if you, if you see a corpse, you can jump into their moment of death and you see like a different scene basically. And then you can like kind of see, well, who was involved, what happened at the time. And um, based on that, basically from like one corpse that's on the ship, it all um, unfolds. And it's, it's really unbelievably well done. Um, yeah, I, I really just enjoyed it. It's also like it's a good time. It's about 8 to 10 hours. For for me, who hasn't played video games in a while, I don't know, I just got out of it. That was really perfect. You know, it was like a contained story, really engaging, um, and to me, new gameplay, and like a reasonable time frame. So it was really perfect for what I wanted. And... Yeah, I'd, I wholeheartedly suggest it to anyone who um, might think this kind of game would be for them. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, is there anything else I want to say about that game? I mean, I don't know. It's, the thing is, there's so much stuff you could spoil, and I really don't want to spoil it because it's um, it's such a good game and you really I think you, you benefit from not knowing too much about it as you go in so um, I don't really want to talk too much about it I just like which is obviously like it's a great idea to use that as a video <laughs> which I want to make um, but, yeah, you just gotta take my word for it. It's, it's just really, really good. I mean, I hope this uh, episode is also pretty interesting. I mean, we definitely had some some fun, cute, um, beautiful, amazing, all sorts of adjectives, um, scenery. <laughs> yeah, didn't know where that sentence was gonna go. But... Yeah, I think that's that's it for the game, and I might just like let me see it's a bit glitched there. You know, I hope I'm not going straight into the water or something, but I think that is possible. This is so dark. Let's just play. It. Oh no, that was oh that's interesting. I was just you probably heard that um, alarm. This was not an alarm for my my ten minute. Oh, what's happening? Ah, <laughs> I was using the bread. Um, um, not for my uh, 20 minute uh, recording time because I kind of stopped doing that. I'm just winging it now. Oh, it's, it's dangerous. Um, but instead it was um, an alarm for my favorite documentary, which, oh, I should talk about that. That That is a real my boom and like a long, long term my boom. But yeah, it's called uh, 72 Document, uh, Documental, it's Japanese, uh, Document, seven, 72 Hours Documental, something like, oh my god, <laughs> my brain's not working, you got to forgive me. But I, I will talk about it in the future, but basically what the alarm is, it, it's on NHK every Friday. Uh, I can't get NHK here, <laughs> so it's kind of useless at this point. But, theoretically, um, it would be on in like five minutes. So, 
I always get reminded because I don't want to miss it. Okay, let's see. Do you think there will be water coming in after this? Could be. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh. Never, never dig up. I knew this. I knew it. I said it. I think I said it multiple times in, in this game. And then I still did it. Genius move. Genius. Ah, that that person that was giving me the advice of um, using the candle. That would have uh, the using the torch to destroy it. That might have helped. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I'm now. Let me just quickly make like a marker here. That should work. Yeah, and that's ugly enough that no one will mistake this for the game generated uh, anything, so should be alright. Ooh, man, that was quite far, quite far from my home. And I'm also starving again, so... Alright. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll talk about the documentary uh, series in a future video. Um, except for that, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight. Oh no. We're gonna find our way to the house, and once we're there, on that excitement, okay, zombie, sumbo. It's, it's a zombie himbo, a sumbo. More zombies. Um, yeah. After that excitement, we're gonna. Close the door. We're gonna finish this episode. Tell me if you if you know the game or what games you've been into lately. I would be really interested. I, I'm looking for some other games to play besides Minecraft. Any Sumbos? Nope. Nope. They are. They are. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Um. Yeah. Have a good one. Goodbye.